This video will help secure your WordPress site by moving your config file away from its normal location where the bad people would look to mess with it. You see, your wp-config.php file contains some important settings that, if it falls into the wrong hands, can destroy your WordPress site. Now, since this involves a key file in the workings of your WordPress site, you need to first do a full backup of both your files and database just to be on the safe side. Now, as a second precaution, you might want to keep your server's control panel like cPanel or Plesk or whatever, or your FTP client open when testing your site after this adjustment, just in case, so if something goes wrong, you can put that file back in its original place. Okay, now that the public safety announcement is over, let's do this. Now, first off, I want to demonstrate that the site is working and that I have nothing up my sleeves. Now, here's the WordPress site that we're going to be making that adjustment on, and here is just a quick demonstration that the pages are working and that hopefully they will also work after we're done. Okay, now then, let's go ahead and bring the timer in here and get that going. Now I want to open up my FTP client and again you can do the same thing I'm going to be showing you here in your cPanel control panel plus or whatever and I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to log in securely so we can maintain that air of security. Now that I'm going to navigate to the root directory of our WordPress installation. That's in the public underscore HTML file, at least ways for me. Oh, and by the by, this only works if you're not using a multiple site or the uh, multi-site setup for your WordPress. So, so long as you have this in a single site setup and it's not in a subdomain, I know, I should have mentioned that earlier, huh? So, so long as it's not in a subdomain and that it's not a multi-site setup, then you're good to go. Okay, now that I'm in the root directory, let's go ahead and go on down and find our wp-config.php file. That's right here. I'm just going to left-click, hold, and... Well, let me move this up here first so that I can show you that this is our path right here to the public underscore HTML and I'm going to put the wp-config file above in this order I'm going to put it above the public underscore HTML so I'm going to put it in the same folder or directory that the public underscore HTML is in I'm going to do that by just left click holding and dragging this on up and dropping it right in there now you see it's no longer here it is in fact if I click on this and you can see that this is where the public underscore HTML is now that we used to have to get into to get to the config file well if we scroll on down further that's where the config file is now let's go ahead and check out our site just to make sure it's not broken and refresh yay check out a page or two yay and we're still in business. Now, when the bad guys try to find our config file by going to where it's normally located, they're not going to find it, and they're going to get discouraged and go on to the next person's site that is not as secure as this one. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on how you can lock down your WordPress site in less than five minutes. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.